Consumer Education Report for 2012, presented by Bright Media for the South African Insurance Association. South Africa is a country of space, beauty and unexpected charm to be found in the most unlikely circumstances. Yet, the country also faces severe challenges, most notably poverty. Lack of resources not only affect people's daily lives, but the quality of children's education. Schools in remote areas most often have to make do with a bare minimum. We believe the answer to this problem lies in consumer education. Bright Media is an educational media organization that has expertise in developing innovative media and development solutions. As the service provider to the South African Insurance Association, we've provided the SAIA with innovative educational interventions to improve financial education over the past number of years. The focus is on achieving measurable results with specific outcomes. This is about affording teachers the possibility of going out there and really giving quality education to children. And really, if we are going to be involved in nation building, we might as well start right at the grassroots, which is at the schools. With projects like Managing Your Money, Bright Media taught school leavers in conjunction with SAIA and the Financial Services Board how to manage their money. Teachers were trained with the full cooperation of the Department of Education using multimedia resources. Building on this success, we recently implemented the I Can't project to once again fill the need for quality financial education. And this is a box that contains free resources for you, the teacher. With the I Can't venture, Bright Media used an innovative device called the Knowledge Box. The Knowledge Box is full of free educational resources for teachers. Teachers can download information on a memory stick, disc or via Bluetooth onto their cell phones. The content they download includes video and radio episodes, as well as PDF and curriculum documents. All aimed at acquiring financial knowledge through school subjects in a fun way. Our role today is to share with you a resource that you can use for accounting, specifically for grade 10 learners. This project includes not only the knowledge box, but it includes teachers coming to a workshop face to face, where they receive a file which contains a DVD containing episodes, and they receive teacher training as well. And the aim of that training and this resource project is to empower accounting teachers to help their learners with the subject. I'm hoping to gain more information. I want this workshop to empower me and groom me. I'm here to be developed, to gain more, and to gain more experience in order how to apply this accounting in a way, in such a way that learners can just adapt and understand accounting properly. One of the things that makes ICANN so powerful is that it complements the existing CAPS curriculum perfectly. Basically what you've got is 26 episodes of audiovisual content, which are like little TV episodes, as well as little episodes which are small enough to be Bluetoothed. Uh, and you also have resources that you can utilize, um, PDF documents that you can use for print later. It's going to copy to disk. Good. Add to basket. Perfect. Okay, now put it back in. Okay, perfect. So you've added it to your basket. And best of all, Lona only has one lemonade left. Which is truly amazing, you know? She took a risk and it paid off. The project provides free, high-quality resources through the Knowledge Box innovation. So we've realized that teachers do not have internet. Teachers do not have resources. But one thing that teachers do have is a cell phone. Episode zero. From the knowledge box, it the empowering information can flow to the classroom. If you know what the Consumer expect, Education Initiative provides smaller contained summarized episodes specifically for Bluetooth purposes. Happen. And for that, you need a backup plan. Like a savings account or insurance would be great backup plans. 
The best way to plan ahead is to... And that is small enough so that you can have that on your cell phone and you can transfer it to everybody else's cell phone as well. Could the ICANS initiative be the answer to some of the problems learners face? We believe so. Unhampered by issues like infrastructure, electricity and internet access, ICANT products are truly empowering educational tools. We don't have internet, internet access at home. If I had them on my cell phone, it would be much easier. And I think it will help me a lot to, 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 to increase uh, my knowledge about maths and science. ICANT workshops were held in all nine provinces of South Africa. Participants attended a total of 38 workshops, 36 contractual and two added value, that were successfully conducted over a seven-week period between 13 February and 22 March 2012. The project has been well received in all the provinces, with the largest impact in the most under-resourced provinces. Because of the success of ICANT, we are eager to implement other projects within its stable to help improve the employment prospects of school leavers and in turn alleviate poverty. And what an immense challenge it proves to be. The South African Institute of Race Relations survey found that 51% of South Africans between 15 and 24 are unemployed. There is little doubt that high quality financial education is needed to help address these issues. Timing, however, is crucial. By helping South Africans before they leave school, we can prevent bad financial practices before they happen. It is also the perfect time to encourage innovation and entrepreneurship. If people don't understand the magic and the terror of compound interest and what it can do to you, do, to you, do for you and do uh, work against you, then um, you know, you're at a complete disadvantage. No doubt, the subjects at school that are most likely to provide gainful employment, as well as support for our economy, are mathematics, science technologies and the business subjects. You need to know how to spend your money wisely. There's just so much that you can uh, spend your money on and you need to do it as wisely as possible to make it work for you. In a recent meeting, the National Department of Education expressed the need for the consumer education initiatives of the SAIA, specifically in the accounting field. On more than one occasion, the need was expressed for high-quality financial education to support business subjects so that learners could cope better with a new CAPS curriculum. Increase their thinking ability. It also increase their intellectual quotient so that they can think systematically and logically. There is no doubt a willingness to learn. It is guidance and support that is lacking. Well, what I think about maths, it is a very unique subject and it needs more determination. And I myself, I find it hard because I think I'm not good at maths. Uh, maths is a very interesting subject, as I've said. Yeah, we're having all the good teachers. We have about five teachers who are good in maths in our school. The difficulties that I found on maths is calculations. It kind of disturbs my brains, like it needs a lot of work. So I, like when I study, it is, it is not easy because I find a lot of challenges and when I find a challenge in maths, I just easily give up. I enjoy learning maths because we've got good teachers. They teach us in both English and Zulu so that we can understand everything. Yeah, maths is interesting. We learn something new every day. In spite of the eagerness to learn, the lack of resources throughout the schooling system remains a key concern. Some classrooms contain no learning materials. Something as basic as having access to a calculator can become an insurmountable hurdle to some. If you can supply us with calculators, do files that uh, has uh, more worksheets for our learners to avoid photocopying. Like we short of materials such as the science lab, we don't have the science lab. The challenges that I'm having now is that uh, some of the learners, ne? They don't have calculators in the class, first of all, because they can't do accounting without a calculator. They borrow a calculator from one another all the time, they waste time. The most challenge that I'm experiencing, my learners don't have calculators. Overhead projectors. Accounting needs an overhead projector so that you can work faster and just try to eliminate time. 
In addition to practicalities like these, learners are hampered by severe socio-economic problems, not to mention the distances they have to travel to get to school in the first place. Yeah, it's difficult for them to learn in class because some of them, they come to school without eating nothing and so it's difficult to give something to learners to learn. They are staying far from the school, they came with buses. It's overcrowded in class. Right now, as I speak, I've got 65 learners in class doing accounting. Uh, they get to the school, uh, they use buses, some walk from the RDP houses and some walk from the village here called Shia Bazali and some come around Bulwa. I use a bus to come here. So today it's holidays so I have to, to have some extra cash so that I can pay a taxi. They have family problems from where they stay. Some, can, some of the learners they come to class, the homework are not done. The homework is not done. When you ask them why didn't you write the homework, tell them my granny, say I'm finishing the electricity. Mm. He's working alone, staying with, the, staying with the granny or the granddad. Mm. <laughs> Overcrowded classes make learning difficult. These socio-economic problems, however, cut much deeper. It affects the teachers, who are the very heart of the classroom, severely. Often, these ships are left without captains. One of the reasons for this is that South African teachers, as a population group, have one of the highest HIV-AIDS infection rates in the world. When teachers are ill and dying, the need for resources for learners is even more pressing. Without their help, how will young South Africans become critical, knowledgeable consumers and citizens who make the most of their financial options? The picture can be depressing. The need for education, as well as quality materials that are accessible and curriculum related, grows annually. Bright Media showed that a difference can be made with innovative and creative thinking. A total of 1,877 teachers and education professionals were reached directly in 2012. This means that if they teach the average of 90 learners each, then over 168,000 schoolchildren felt the benefit of this project. However, when one considers that there are 5,670 secondary schools who cater for 2.2 million learners and 74,000 teachers, it becomes apparent that there's still much to do. Independent research by JER Research Resources shows that the real reach and impact was felt most in schools that are in need. It also showed that in both qualitative and quantitative studies, rural impact was greater than urban impact, which is the opposite of the usual educational trend. Bright Media's consumer education projects are therefore without question reaching those who are least supported. The difference we're making to final results, however, can only be assessed and reported once the project is rolled out to grade 12. The Knowledge Box Innovation provides ongoing access to free content curriculum and information. We ensure that relevant, free, high-quality educational content reaches the people who need it most. With initiatives like iCount and other innovative educational projects from Bright Media, it really is possible to help alleviate poverty in South Africa. Within the challenge of education lies opportunity. Let us inspire, educate and truly make a difference. Developed for the South African Insurance Association by Bright Media www.brightmedia.co.za